breaking news that's coming in right now. BJP JJP alliance is certain to break in Haryana. Sources are telling India today after the break of alliance, the government will be formed in Haryana with the support of BJP and BJP's independence. In fact, those who have already uh, declared their support for the ruling party and government, all BJP MPs will, MLAs, I beg your pardon, will reach uh, Haryana's uh, Raj Bhavan around 1 p.m. That's what sources are telling India today. And apart from BJP MLAs, government supported independent MLAs will also reach the Raj Bhavan. Preparations have been made for the swearing in ceremony in the conference room already inside Haryana's Raj Bhavan. Those are pictures that you're seeing of uh, the Chief Minister Manohar Lal Khattar and on your screens, his deputy in the ruling government, Dushyan Chautala who in fact belongs to the JJP. Remember, they forged this alliance in order to form the government in Haryana in 2019. Now it appears there seems to be a split. Only yesterday, Dushan Chautala met with BJP National President JP Nadda in Delhi for about 45 minutes. It was a very short meeting given that it was speculated that this was concerning alliance before the general elections and seat sharing in terms of uh, how many seats would the JJP contest on and BJP would contest on. Today, Dushan Chautala is expected to meet with the Home Minister, Mr. Amit Shah, in Delhi as well. Kamaljeet Sandhu breaking this here on India Today from Chandigarh. Kamaljeet, what are you hearing from your sources? This uh, change in government swearing in ceremony, preparation zone at Ra Haryana Raj Bhavan. Tell us what happened. You know, this on and off thing has been going on for quite some time. But we've been told that uh, the JJP was very adamant that they wanted at least two seats, which is Diwani and Hisar. And this is where uh, they've actually gone ahead and there's a meeting today of Dushan Sotala. And there has been a word around uh, since the past few days that this is perhaps the last day of Dushan Sotala as the deputy CM of Haryana. So they've been very adamant. And remember, for the last time around in 2019, as far as BJP's performance was concerned, they won 10 out of 10 seats. And even this time around, the BJP workers, as well as uh, the cabinet and the chief minister himself, was of view uh, that uh, there should not be any sort of seat sharing. So we've been hearing this for quite some time. Uh, but despite having the numbers, remember JJP now deciding to almost walk away. And it's almost certain now uh, that, that this alliance is, is just going to last another couple of hours. And uh, obviously, the preparation is now in place that uh, the Haryana Chief Minister will resign and the entire cabinet then moves to Raj Bhavan and then the entire process begins. Uh, so yes, they do have the numbers, uh, but we do not know and it's not of a certainty that uh, Khattar will remain or whether uh, Manohar Lal Khattar, because there have been voices, there has been a talk about a change at the top as well. Uh, so a big breaking news coming in as far as Haryana is concerned, uh, remember, the alliance, the on and off alliance, I remember, uh, both the sides had been giving statements uh, that they were okay and the JJP recently had a meeting and then they said they were okay with the alliance but they were okay with to walk away with it. Uh, but now it seems almost certain uh, with them being adamant on two seats and BJP unwilling to give those two seats in Lok Sabha, it seems that this alliance is all likelihood to break today. Okay, so this alliance is in all likelihood uh, breaking today because uh, the JJP has uh, not found its demands met as far as uh, seat sharing for the Lok Sabha elections are concerned. Uh, Kamaljeet, what more can you tell us about those seat sharing negotiations? You know, yesterday, of course, when that meeting between Dushan Chautala and JP Nadda took place, there seemed that there is a possibility that there could be some middle ground found and there could be a negotiation where maybe the JJP would get one seat to contest on as far as the 10 Lok Sabha seats of Haryana are concerned. Because earlier on, we'd heard voices from both the BJP and the JJP. Dushyan Chautala on record saying, we're ready to fight on 10 Lok Sabha seats all by ourselves. So yesterday's meeting seemed like things were possibly changing. So what brought it to break point and the JJP deciding to, in fact, pull away? from the NDA government.
Uh, see, when we look at the assembly, uh, this 90 seats and 41 belong to uh, BJP. Six of them are from the independent and uh, we're talking about uh, 10 from JJP. So as far as the alliance is concerned, remember, there was a sort of discomfort because one, there was a talk about how the JJP's performance was under question mark. The other is obviously about how uh, things had come to a certain point where a decision had to be made. And JJP was very insistent that not just one, but they wanted two seats. And these are seats of Bivani and Hisar. So they were very adamant that they wanted these two seats. And for the sake of the alliance, and remember, as far as alliances in several other states are concerned, uh, there has been an outreach done by the BJP, but not so much in Haryana. And now it does seem that despite having a lineup, a meeting, uh, the top leadership, and I remember uh, Manohar Lal Khattar had been going back and forth uh, to Delhi. Uh, so there was a decision which was made. And obviously, winnability is one of the questions uh, that has come under uh, under question mark. And that is why it does seem that uh, because of the Ram Mandir, because of the other issues, uh, BJP was very confident that they're going to repeat the performance of 2019. Uh, because 10 are the seats that they got, and they won all 10 of the 10 seats. But this time around, it does seem uh, that as far as JGP was concerned, they were seeking two seats, while BJP was okay with giving just about one. And this is where there seems to be a massive disagreement. And because of which, uh, what we know now is uh, that this alliance is going away. And we've been told that around one o'clock is uh, when all these people meet again. And uh, this is where uh, Haryana Bhavan is where uh, they're going to be uh, meeting. And then thereafter uh, to the governor house. And it seems uh, that the, this resignation and Qatar is likely to come back. Uh, but then again, it's the BJP which is going to take a call because we've seen earlier also there has been a change of guard, a change of pace. Uh, there have been questions because obviously uh, it's been a long time running, almost just nine years. And just post the Lok Sabha polls, just around in September, are the Haryana Assembly polls. Uh, we've seen a change of guard happening as far as the other states are concerned. Uh, can that be in Haryana as well? That's a big question mark. And obviously, the BJP headquarters is likely to take a decision on it. But it does seem that uh, the Haryana chief minister is likely to resign. And he may take oath right in the afternoon once again.